time for one of life's great questions. Upgrade defenses or use your builders in the forge. What's going on Clash Bashes? Rocky here today and today we're going to be taking a look at how you should be using your builders. I'm on my Town Hall 13 which still has quite a bit of upgrades to use but also all of the builders in the forge just finished up. So the big question is do I restart the forge or should I focus on my defenses and honestly guys i don't think there's gonna be a direct yes or no do this or do that answer to this question i know that's what you came here for but honestly my strategy for this especially like on the my tunnel 13 where i got a lot of stuff left is i'm going to keep upgrading these defenses and even keep upgrading my walls with the elixir because i do want to max out this account so all of my golden elixir i think is going to go into defenses and walls i know that you saw at the beginning that i had all three builders going in the forge and that's because you know i was really excited for the clan capital and i wanted to participate as much as possible but this is also going to depend on your clan's activity level or interest does your clan want to work and focus on the clan capital or do you want to focus on your home village and getting that maxed out? And for me personally, I think we need to balance this a little bit. So right now you can see we have three builders going in the home village, one on Elixir Collector, two on Archer Towers, and then we still have two remaining. And since I have zero Dark Elixir upgrades left on this account, I think with the Forge, I'm going to just use my Dark Elixir in there for two days and nine hours. Remember, I have the Gold Pass, so it's discounted a little bit. And then with everything everything else I'm just going to continue working on my base maybe just keep one maybe two if I don't have the gold or elixir for upgrades but since I have cheap stuff like these like we'll be fine and then I think what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade this wall like that and then with this last little bit of gold we'll go ahead and upgrade this elixir, elixir collector and that's going to be my plan is just kind of like a four to one ratio and if you have that extra builder well it kind of depends on what your loot is or what your situation is here now guys now the one thing to remember and especially like you know with raid weekend kicking up is as your clan unlocks stuff everyone in the clan unlocks it so it's not like you have to do it all by yourself we've had tons of players participating in raid weekend and i know or maybe an exception to the example here there's gonna be a lot of clans with a lot of activity you can see here we have almost the full 50 accounts active and once we do the attacks on this account we'll have another one on that list so maybe it's time to consider finding a better clan if your clan isn't working and progressing the way you want it to i mean i think this is a time where you know it's it's going to be really important to find those bigger and better clans but i think like the, like i mentioned the strategy is going to be just keep working on your main base but just dump a little bit into the clan capital all right so let's do some live clan capital attacks uh kind of a short answer to that i'm still in la getting ready to broadcast the snapdragon mobile open finals here today with clash with eric it's gonna be a great show um i don't know if this video will be out on sunday or monday so you might be too late but hopefully you guys watch the stream let's do some attacks this looks actually kind of annoying here we do have the rocket artillery uh hmm we have a nice little deployment zone here and really we can work in really nicely throughout this space we just have to be aware of this rocket artillery so maybe uh, i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna full commit to this one and i think we're just gonna go with the archers and then maybe a barbarian for our opener and let's just go with some lightning spells actually i like the lightning spells a lot we've been using the lightning spells a lot in our clan especially on a base like this like there's just so much value for lightning spells look at that we, we just get massive value from the lightning spells. We'll dump him in over there. Uh, we'll go with these gals over here, and then we'll go with the ram right up the middle here. I think the ram should make it there. And we're just going to open up a path for our second attack. If you guys want to see how we did a full raid together on voice, uh, that video was posted the other day. Uh, make sure you check that out. I'll try to remember to put it in the description, but again, I'm traveling, so there's a good chance I forget. I'm going to be distracted, you know, getting ready for the stream today and stuff. So um, hopefully you guys understand. I, I, you guys understand. You guys know how it goes. Uh, really excited to be broadcasting the snapdragon mobile open finals uh, it's gonna be a good time I'm, i've been excited to get back into casting so this is this is the opportunity you only get one opportunity don't miss your chance to oh uh, what uh, i think that was something else <laughs> don't worry about that guys so i'm trying to get to this rocket artillery i just don't see it happening and i want to open up this base as much as possible 
But maybe even if we get a path so that we can get there on the next attack, I think we'll be fine. Because I think we can go with some rocket loons next. All right, nice. Nice. Working. Okay, beautiful. Let all those shots come in. Be patient with your sneaky archers, guys. Be really patient. And I'm sure the audio is really echoey. Like, I can hear how echoey it is in this room. Oh, it's so painful. Like, when you're used to, like, a better setup... Like, this is just painful. We might actually get this rocket artillery down, to be honest with you guys. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to get it. We're definitely going to get it. Let that mortar shot come in. Nice. So, we'll get that rocket artillery in. And then I almost... Hmm, with those air bombs back there, I almost just want to run cannon carts right up the middle with this with giants and everything. Uh, I, or if we could snipe this stuff out with... That, oh, 54% on the opener. And I think since we can, like, zap and, like, get some damage throughout all of this here, I think we're going to try some air. I'm not sure that this is going to work, but we're going to try some air spam here, guys. Uh, rocket loons are so, so nice in this. So we'll go a bunch of rocket loons and maybe just, uh like, one camp of minions. Oh, we don't have any space for minions. Maybe, like, just one camp, two camps of minions. So let's give this a shot, and then let's do that lightning on the back end here. We could actually, like, lightning this here, these air defenses. But I think we can get to them relatively quickly. Actually, we can get to those air bombs relatively quickly as well. Hmm. Do we go for the damage here? Because I think we can... Yeah, let's do this. Let's go, like, this right here, because we can... Oh, yeah, we can damage it all. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then we'll just take our time in here, work through, work through, work through, work through. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and then let's see if we can get to these air defenses here. Air bombs go down, and then let's just spam it all in here, guys. Oh, no. Okay, they went the wrong way, but that's okay. That, that That's actually really good. That's fine. That's really fine. I'm um, just looking where we need minions to clean. That's a three-star guy. That's a two? We just took out Barbarian Camp in two? That's beautiful, guys. And that shows the patience of using those sneaky archers. Take your time with them, guys. We got so much value from that opening attack and then finish it off with the balloons here. And I think someone said that Itsu mentioned that you want to have remaining troops. Not swag them in your bar, but they need to be remaining troops on the field. So I don't think you swag... I think you want to get everything in. I'm not sure. I need to look this up and I'll check it out when I get home and we'll clarify it for next raid weekend for you guys. And I think you guys really responded well to the raid weekend video with the Mad Ram guys. So I think we're going to do that a little bit more. We got 16,000 gold now. Uh, Steven's working on that. So while he's working on that, let's go over here and let's take a look at some upgrades. I've been personally working on the Super Giants barracks because I've been using Super Giants and cannon carts quite a bit. So I'm going to throw all my gold in there. Uh, and really, like, we're at, we're at a really slow spot right now. We're all the way down to Builder's Workshop, but we need so many upgrades to get our clan capital up. We need 59 more building upgrades, and they're getting expensive. I mean, we could go cheap, but I think for now, like, this is the way that we're going. Let's see how Steven's doing here. Oh, he's done 69% giggity. Uh, let's see what he's got remaining. Oh, yeah, that's, that's an easy clean. I wonder if he's just going to finish that off. Uh, okay, so yeah, Steven cleaned this up like I thought. Pretty easy clean for him there with the air. You can see we're really leaning into the air. We even got our lightning spells up. So let's take a look at this capital peak and see what we got. And it's a pretty traditional capital peak here, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the outside and then try to get to the rocket artillery in the back. So to do that, we're going to go with like a bunch of barbs here and then like a few archer camps something maybe a few less archer camps and then just some rams to open everything up and then we're going to use lightning spells just to open up the base a little bit we don't really need to heal for now and honestly like setting up the heal for later is good but we don't really need to worry about that so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our lightning right in here just to weaken up that area we're working towards we want to get to that area with this attack if possible so we need to wrap all the way around the base and that's the big thing about like doing these uh, clan capital attacks is you just need to identify what are the major defenses that need to go down and how can you get to them as fast as possible and usually we're trying to get to rocket artilleries within the first two attacks uh, i'm sure you guys have seen the rocket artillery is just a nasty nasty defense so take that in mind when you're planning out your raid weekend attacks be patient uh, and remember, you could like single-handedly take down a district to get your bonus. Uh, I think I really emphasized hard making sure everyone gets their bonus, but with the five attacks, I think that should be enough for just about anyone because it seems like the matchmaking is pretty balanced. So I think five attacks should be enough for just about anyone 
to get their bonus by taking down a district by themselves. Sorry if the screen keeps flickering in and out, guys. I don't know. I broke the wrong wire for my Elgato, so we're we're kind of just we're just kind of hoping it works here. All right, uh, barbs are looking nice, man. We're gonna be patient here. Just let them work around. And we're gonna throw in a few more barbs and just keep it going and get all the way around to this back end. Uh, I do want to be aware of the time because we do have sneakies as well. One thing we can do now is open this up for later because that's something I wanted to have open, but we're literally going all in to get to that rocket artillery, which is starting to fire. Not good, guys. And remember that clan capital will fire also, almost acting like an eagle artillery. Oh, it's brutal. It's brutal, but look at this. Oh, the value is so good. So I'm going to try to hold on to the rest of these guys because we're looking pretty good. The time is pretty good. And then we can go like this here. Nice. Perfect. We'll let that shot fire there. Take them out. And then we'll go like this here. Perfect. Nice. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, let's just run these guys right up the middle here since uh, we can check for traps and stuff. And we can just get some of this stuff down with the barbs. I know we won't get it all down, but we can get some of it. And then once these shots are done, we can start with our sneakies. We need to be patient with the sneakies and work them in here. All right, nice. We got 41 seconds. That's going to be close. But look, the rocket artillery is almost down. Nice! We get the rocket artillery on the first attack. That's exactly what we're hoping for, guys. And then, let's see. The giant cannon we can kind of avoid. Like, we can go air to avoid that. So let's look at some of these rapid rockets. Get them down. Some of these air bombs. Get them down. Uh, let's work through here. Oh! I thought that... Oh, no. I thought the uh, that shot already came in. Oh, I just saw the screen flicker. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's so sketchy, man. It's so sketchy. Let's get these last archers in. We just need them in. Nice. That's a pretty good opener. 68. Can we get 69%? 69% on one attack. That is insane. Let's see how we can do to finish this one up. It's probably still going to take two or three more, though. All right, guys. So Steven said for me to go ahead and attack. And I think we're just going to switch to the Zap Loons. Just try to get as much value as possible. I don't really think we need too many minions for cleanup i think this is just going to try to get as many defenses down as possible and i already identified some decent value here for the lightning spells we can go in right about here and just get some nice lightning value there and then we can just start working in like kind of throughout the base here just working on some of these defenses some of these areas that might give us trouble and just kind of be real surgical here with the loons i'm going to spam in a little bit here extra let's go with our ram to open that up just so we can get to that uh, capital hall a little bit later all right nice we're getting through here guys we're getting some nice value let's get the air defenses down i think i think that'll be huge if we can get through those nice and then i think we're gonna go I'm not super concerned about that last air defense here if we can get the spear thrower down that'll be good yeah that'll be real nice beautiful guys beautiful great value from this like it wasn't like crazy but it's really good value because it's going to set us up really nicely for our next attack we're going to be able to get this capital hall down in my opinion we do have that giant cannon and everything there but i think if we go loons again or uh actually just uh not even loons just a flying fortress check this trick out so let me show you guys let me show you guys this awesome trick so what we're going to do is we're going to go edit army now we're going to go with the heal and lightning and we're going to bring a flying fortress in with some balloons and then just a little bit of minions and this is this is the crucial part right here like you get so much value well lightning oh that's almost down so we can probably lightning and take that out beautiful and then we should be able to use our flying fortress right in here and as it works in the uh capital hall is actually not going to deal damage fast enough to take it down so since it's a lower capital hall, it'll be fine. It's, it's going to be beautiful, guys. Here, Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, nice. So we're going to let that work there. And then we can just uh, work around the outside. Just making sure we got all the exterior buildings cleaned out. All right, nice. Cool. We can work. Uh, let's go like this here. Get the spear thrower down. Let's get this spear thrower down. Just to make sure our value is correct. This guy's nice. And then we'll just have that Tesla there. And that's the only thing that can hit us. So I'm just going to be patient. Wait it out. Wait it out and keep going. Oh, the screen, guys. The screen. Ugh. All right, we're good, though. We're good. Nice. We got all those skeletons in there, too. That's why the multi-mortars are shooting, because those skeletons keep flying in. 
But look at that, our Flying Fortress is able to withstand the barrage from the Capitol Hall. Beautiful, guys. And we're going to take this one down in three single-handedly. So we'll actually have another attack for the next raid. Oh, man, guys. That's so fun. Oh, I've just been having a blast with this. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because we're progressed pretty far or something. But we've been, we've been experimenting. We've been playing. We've been working together. Just so cool, man. So, so cool. Nice. We get the Capitol Hall down. Let's go work through here. That's not what I was hoping for. That's all right. Let's go with our minions there. And we should be able to get this down. Get that Tesla down. Beautiful. Nice. There we go. Wait. Oh, did we lose those minions on the bottom? Did we catch a bomb? Fine. Well, that's good. We're okay, guys. Because we just got the Capitol hauled down. The Capitol peak down in three attacks. Crazy value, guys. Crazy, crazy value. We'll take a look at our raid weekend and we'll go from there. Oh, that's so fun, man. So much fun. So we finished our 15th raid that was our best one i think yeah that was definitely our best one that's crazy that is crazy and then obviously we get served a new raid but let's go back home let's go into barbarian camp and let's keep working on those giants what's funny is like i'm upgrading giants and i don't think we use the giants once in this video <laughs> ah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing